We will put up a mezuzah symbolically on the door here. This is the mezuzah, by the way, is donated by Karen Filo, which is the headquarters for the Dream Clowns. So, 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 hey. Yeah, okay. yeah. Hey. Bring the mezuzah. Bring the mezuzah. Okay, where, where, should, where should we put it? Where? On the door. On the door. Right here. Right here. Right here. Please put the mezuzah right here. All right. It's very heavy. Be careful. Okay, thank you very much. The truth, the truth is we also have a real Mesuza. So we will put up the Mesusa on the door behind the Professor Schlesinger. Afterwards, we will do a double unveiling here. We will start on the tour of the hospital, and as a part of the tour, there will be a few other unveilings coming up. So, I've heard your name, yeah? I've heard your name yeah. with the greatest pleasure. So you've done, you've done so much good for this city. It's unbelievable. Please. in gratitude to the Almighty, not only as an eternal memory of all those children who perished, but also, more importantly, as a celebration of life. May it stand as a realization of the fruit of their labor and benefit all the children of Jerusalem and may this medical wonderland for healing kids be a beacon for all future generations in all of Israel. August the 20th, 2015, coinciding with the 5th of Elu, 5775. <laughs> and I just want to say that today, uh, Ronnie mentioned that yesterday was the yard site of my father. And, um, However, the one person who saved all of us from being killed in Mauthausen was my grandmother. She made a story that uh, I'm not going to go into, but her yard site is today, the fifth of Elu. Wow. So if I only said things are beshared, it's beshared. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs>
So I'll try to give you uh, a vision or a tour of all this unbelievable floor. The main entrance to the floor is here. You go through the elevators, and we're heading that way. This is a good time to mention that behind this man there, there is a little theater where you can cut, you can take a look. It will be movies being screened for the children. We'll make sure only good movies, obviously. Uh, and they will be running here in this very room. Just for invitation, we're heading to the main lobby. Well, I call it the city square, where everything happens. But you should take a look to the left. And this is the school. And uh, school is a very trivial, trivial name. For this is really not a, not only a school. There is a school where there were some uh, adolescents who did, who did their, their matriculation tests in here in this very school. But the school is uh, includes everything. It includes music music room. Very unique music room, art room, uh, uh, computer center. Um, it's all in there. And uh, during the day, it's really sometimes if you really want to, you, on the doctor's round, you want to do, you want to see a patient. He's out in his bed. You know exactly where you can find him. Yeah, right. He's here. We'll have one dogs. Right. Um, I had a, a friend who worked in the NIH. In one of the most National History of Health in Washington, D.C., where they have very sick kids with AIDS and cancer, and they have, and the chief of that department is both an oncologist and an infectious disease person, and he approved it. So he said, if he approved it, I can approve it. And we have a vet, a vet looking after the animals. There's a lot of, we're very careful, we do it very carefully. And Baruch Hashem never heard even a single problem with this. Jason. Murray Jason Akiva. Jason. 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 Is it the dragon? I told you. What is you it called? You have one. Yeah. 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 It's about to affect uh, a year ago. Yeah. 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 Ye
for each patient there is a uh, a bed that for is for the father or the mother next to the patient. Every patient, every child has um, entertainment center. So generally in the hospital, if you want, if you are in surgery and you have, you want to have a TV or something, you hire it. You know there was a way you hire, you pay per day, and you can see we what we did in here was that every child, regardless of his Ability to pay to our it's a scam. It's part of the deal, and they keep using it all the time. I love the best, and it's Ronnie. They're so different. I like them. First of all, the nurse doesn't have to bend down. I like it. Right. And you see the oxygen cylinders, the canisters in the bottom. They're all in one. Okay. Okay. Just to understand, you see, because of the size of the department. Nori, you're leading the path or what? So we are entering the PICU, the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit, which is really um, top, top uh, unit. I think it cost you guys a lot of money to put it up. Uh, because it's there is nothing uh, there's nothing like what a PQ bed is, what it requires, what the uh, demands, what is the electronic monitoring uh, you need to have there, and we have it all. It's many uh, intensive care units are built like there is an open space. There is an open space, and there are different beds. In here, we have we uh, decided it's going to be better for the patients. Uh, if they have each one have his, his own cubicles, huge cubicles by the way, the size of the cubicle is very big, so it can it can it can fit every every machine you can imagine. There are two rooms, one in this. I'm speaking on account now when I, when we're out because I want to do less speaking inside. Okay. There is one room that is negative air pressure. There is another one which is a positive air pressure. I don't want to bother you with the uh, medicine behind it, but it's very important for some patient that their uh, air supply would be different from all the other. So you just we just go in and you see what it looks like, and you're welcome to. I'm sure you're sick of it, but the sickest, the sickest children are here in the PICO, in the pediatric intensive care unit, and life-saving work here is really on an hourly basis. Put on the bridge and connect ISIS. You put them on the white center. You also can instead of putting them in different. Yeah, it was my brother, but they didn't tell me. Is it a bang? Yeah, it's not here. Is it a bang? Yeah, Okay, one, two, Jack. Okay, you want to read it? The Jack and Gitta Nagel Family Pediatric Inpatient Pavilion. This floor shall be an eternal memory to the one and a half million children whose flames of their young lives were extinguished before their childhood was ever realized. And I just said to those of you who did not hear, there will be, in a few months, there will be a corridor that connects the old building of Sharet Tzedek with this building. So the entrance to this floor is either from the elevators, where they see immediately the big signs and the script mm -hmm. that you yeah, wrote, you see one but... Yes. Okay. I'm just so proud. My brother, my sister, and I, I have no words to express the feeling that I have, that they had such vision to do with their money that will benefit so many of our people. And I thank Hashem that we are here, that we are together, and I hope that you have many, many long years, good and healthy years to enjoy your beautiful family. Mazel Tov. Before you do we want to go into the hall here to to dedicate some additional projects. Ronnie and Cheryl, as leaders in the family, 
had belief in this project, as this gift was given quite a few years ago. We're very proud that this was a leading gift for us. I can't even reach. <laughs> All right. The director, the chairman's office, Grove Children's Hospital, donated by Dr. Ronald and Cheryl Nagel, Los Angeles, California. Beautiful. David, would you and Marty come up here, please? I got a phone call that a gentleman had spoken of some interest in the proof how special our director general is. On the way to Nepal, he called this uh, individual to talk about the project. And a couple of weeks later, two rooms were donated by Noah and Owen Feeman. So would you come up and we'll read the plaque as you to see how meaningful it is as you unveil it at this point first. A pediatric patient room has been given in loving memory of our parents, Miriam Berkovitz, loving wife, mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother, Sandor Friedman, loving husband, father, grandfather, great-grandfather, Hannah Friedman, loving wife, mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, dedicated by their children, Nora and Erwin, Friedman and family. Now would you unveil the second slide, please? Okay. All right. A pediatric patient room has been given in memory of the 66 heroes, members of the IDF, who lost their lives defending Israel during Operation Protective Age, Protective Age 2014, from Nora and Erwin Friedman. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Barney. We want take, our kids take to pull it off. And the we want you guys to pull it off. Thank you. Let's do it, let's do it. It's a shame for that. Okay. Before you do this, you have to realize that you have to give a lot of money to do this, right? From your bar mitzvah money. From your bar mitzvah money. Thank you, David. Look at me. A pediatric nursing station, a gift from David and Marnie, Nagel and family in Los Angeles, California. Thank you for the Ladies and gentlemen, this ends the first part of the evening.